Welcome to The View from the Summit, conversations with the world's top trainers, handlers, and athletes in the equestrian and canine sports, brought to you by Summit Joint Performance. Our special guest is Loran Barwick. She's an equestrian superstar and life inspiration. After a catastrophic accident in the barn, she defied her medical prognosis of never riding again to go on to win gold and silver in dressage at the Paralympics and become a para-reigning champion. A world-class instructor, she likes to say, she bridges the gap between horse and rider. And now, here's Lorraine. Um, well, I think one of my first tips that I share a lot with people is um, the process doesn't look like the product right a lot of people get very direct lined with their training and they go well that's you know it's supposed to look like this I go but the process doesn't look like that right you know when you bake a cake it looks nothing like the cake in the end and so um, you know it's about trusting a process and it, it's hard for a lot of us because we we look at what you see in the show ring and you go, well, that's what it's supposed to look like, but that's not where you start off with. Um, and so you have to look at your teaching phases and then your refining phases and your reinforcement phase. And it's it's look at what the process is and it, it, it will change. And, you know, quite often I'll have a coach say, you know, try this, I'll be struggling with something. And I'll go, are you kidding me? That, that's not what we're looking for. And they go, but, it will help you find the lightness you're looking for um, or the connection you're looking for and then you will refine it as you go um, and understanding that the teaching you know has long phases for the horse to understand so you know we, we break it down into phases and we slow the phases of teaching down so that the horse can understand and be more receptive that would be um, the, the first thing that I, I really share with people and then the second one is, you know, we, we talk about um, the the four stages of learning, right? First is unconsciously incompetent, right? You have no idea what you don't know. And then there's consciously incompetent. Now you realize you don't know what you don't know, right? They're like, wow, I know nothing. And then the next stage is consciously competent. And when you become consciously competent, um, you're still thinking about it and that's where you have a technique right you're working on a technique you're working on something and so you know people go home and they they do a technique the goal though is to become obviously unconsciously competent but to do that you actually there's a little spot in between because people go oh well i just need to practice i go no you need to start taking your technique and applying it with feeling and i think um People go, what does that mean? I mean, feel the technique, feel the purpose of the technique. Don't just do the technique. Don't just apply your leg. Don't just take the rein. Feel for your horse. And the, the idea, and we talk about it in Pirelli, is feel for your horse first so that your horse can feel back to you, and then you guys ultimately will feel together. Um, and then we hadn't been using it, and then I've been working with Shannon, and Shannon, you know, really recommended it, and then um, I was at Pat's recently and he's like, have you started using the summit yet? Um, and he's like, you really should. And, um, and so I wanted to give it a good four to five weeks to just start to feel the difference. And I think we're, we're at six weeks now, at least he was super supple through the neck. And that was the big difference is that he was just more available through the neck. He's a younger horse, so we're not treating arthritis, but for him, um, he was just more available and more willing. And that was the biggest change that I noticed with him. Um, and at the level of competition I'm competing at, we can't have brace. And, you know, people will say, oh, your horse isn't willing. And I go, is it that he's not willing or that he physically doesn't feel like he can? And that was the difference is that he was more willing, not just mentally and emotionally, but willing because he physically felt he could. Whether it's a beloved pet, working companion, or international competitor, Summit Joint Performance can help your partner enjoy more comfort and greater performance. Contact the person that shared this video for more information.